Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your stock watch list for the 16th Wednesday. Uh, what I'm showing you here right now is the after hour screen share throughout the day in my service. Uh, we change out the screen share. You're currently looking at the after hour screen share. We have the trade exchange uh, news box right here. We also get audio news throughout the day uh, in my room and this is the after hours trade ideas scans uh, that come up. We also have an intraday day scanning system that uh, we put up and we also have a pre-market uh, scanning system that we put up uh, we change it throughout the course of the day and I also so show uh, charts and uh, do education uh, in the room but this is the after hours screen share of the room at zozostockwatch.com we use an Omnovia room and uh, this is kind of what you'd see and uh, also with the audio news piped in throughout the day I uh, just wanted to show you my website. It's zozostockwatch.com. If you ever wanted to join the service, uh, we do it for half price for your first month. The regular price is $84.95. You can try us out for a month for $44.95 if you'd like to do that. And um, come try our service for a month and uh, kick the tires, see if you fit us, if we fit you. And uh, we do day trading, swing trading, uh, and I just showed you the screen share throughout the day. Uh, the scans tra uh, change throughout the day. Uh, if you just want to come on to the uh, site and take a look at the blog uh, area here, we do different blogs. We have rules for swing trading, position size, where I put out various blogs. We also put out um, videos that we've done uh, off of uh, YouTube. Those are uh, posted right here and then if you're interested in my scans uh, we do sell my scans I think I have the cheapest price for the scans you could get all of my scans uh, for a nice low price of uh, two hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety five cents uh, for my scans you would get all one pricing you get all these scans or you can buy them uh, I sell these two together for $49.95. This one we sell separately. It's an option play scan, $39.95. Also, we have a low float high of day scan, $39.95, and so on and so forth. That's under the tab scans. And like I said, uh, if you want, you could buy the whole package of scans for $239.95. Now, you would have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be able to use the scan. So just a heads up on that. But you don't have to do that if you join my service you get the scans throughout the day and you also get news and stock alerts and education uh, throughout the day at zozostockwatch.com uh, let's look at some news that came out after the bell uh, real walk robotics uh, had some news after the bell rwlk uh, very much a bar chart on this thing so untradeable right now but they had some news that's the uh, after hours chart as you can see it's pretty uh, untradeable rwlk uh, so we'll move on to the the next thing uh, VSTM did a, a common stock uh, offering VSTM uh, that stock was moving down in the after hours uh, PRKR had earnings after the bell PRKR uh, stock uh, moving up a little bit in the after hours it's an under one dollar name uh, this news courtesy of the trade exchange uh, Sun SUNW earnings per share beat revenue miss on SUNW uh, stock kind of volatile in the after hours but did bounce back uh, might be one that we watch for tomorrow. Solars have been uh, pretty strong with oil moving up. Uh, we had uh, CATS earnings uh, missed by eight cents, missed on revenue. Uh, meat. Uh, had some news after the bell. Uh, the Meek Group announces launch of a uh, live video. Uh, PETQ earnings per share missed, revenue beat on PETQ. Uh, recent IPO uh, stock uh, volatile but bouncing back from the lows on PETQ. Uh, MDLY had some news uh, earnings after the bell. They missed by five cents, missed on revenue. Uh, BLIN, uh, their earnings came out, uh, misses by seven cents, missed on revenue. Uh, Boot was up in the after hours as their earnings came out. BOOT, so nice move up there by BOOT. Uh, they were an earnings per share revenue beat on Boot. 
Uh, let's see. We also had uh, SAEX had earnings, a small oil company, SAEX. Uh, stock was moving up into the uh, close tonight, uh, was moving up and then uh, sold off, gave it back in the after hours as their earnings came out. Uh, Ford had earnings after the bell, F-O-R-D, not Ford, the car maker, but Ford, uh, this uh, footwear and accessories uh, company. Uh, the stock was popping up, went up to about $1.80, uh, but then uh, moving back. Uh, back down. Uh, they had some good earnings there on FORD. Uh, might be one that we watch for tomorrow. Uh, Tesla continuing uh, to show weakness and Tesla still short this name from up here at uh, 301.45. Uh, the stock still trailing down, trading at 283. So Tesla, uh, the short, uh, we continue to hold that short. Uh, we also had news in SGMS. SGMS uh, after the bell looks like they're changing some of their uh, executive officers there on SGMS. Uh, API crude oil came out. It was actually a build. Crude uh, plus 4.85 million uh, barrels. Uh, gasoline was down. Uh, distillates are down. Uh, and uh, oil at Cushing out there in uh, was that Oklahoma uh, was a build. So let's see what did uh, oil do. We'll look at the ETF for oil uh, at one point I guess selling off and uh, staying down on oil but not too much damage on oil after the API numbers came out uh, let's look and see what else uh, came out uh, AKAM announces proposed uh, public offering of convertible and senior notes on AKAM uh, CLXT uh, they had some news. Uh, CYTR announces closing of 7 million registered direct offering. That's CYTR. CETX had earnings after the bell. They beat by two cents, missed on revenue. HMNY uh, had earnings after the bell. Let's check that one out. HMNY, uh, not really. Well, it actually did move up in the after hours and then gave it all back. Still under a $1 name. XGTI uh, beat by six cents, uh, missed on revenue for XGTI. Uh, that stock uh, moving down in the after hours. DMPI missed by three cents. TENX, uh, 75 million mixed shelf uh, filed. OGEN S1 for an offering, 8 million plus. And CLXT, 3 million share offering. And that news courtesy of the trade exchange, built for traders by trade. So here's a five minute uh, pre post extended hours chart of the SPY. Uh, so today in the pre market, uh, we were moving down and we continue to move down right at the open uh, very big push down here all the way down to about 270 30 and then we started to uh, get this bounce uh, and then we uh, in the afternoon we're threatening uh, to break this 270 spot but uh, the buyers stepped in the dip buyers uh, this is around the 100 SMA on the daily chart that 270 area 2700 on the S&P SPX uh, cash uh, so the bulls uh, showed up when they had to uh, they got us back over VWAP into the close. But as you can see, pretty much a down day. Uh, and then in the after hours, we are rolling over again a bit on the uh, SPY. So we'll have to see how the market's going to open tomorrow uh, for the SPY. If we look at it on the uh, daily chart, uh, I can show you. Let me take these lines off here for you. Uh, so you can see right here is the white line here, the moving average, the 100 SMA, uh, and that's right around that 270 area, and that's where the bulls came in and defended uh, today so far. The 5 EMA, the yellow dotted line you see there, is around that 270.108, so we're kind of in this very tight, uh, narrow range on the SPY today between the 5 and the 100 uh, SMA for the SPY. So that was pretty much the market today. Uh, some uh, stocks that we traded today, uh, we did get a very nice bounce in uh, Micron Technology, traded that off a two minute chart. Uh, here's the exact entry on uh, Micron. We got in at $5, uh, $53, over that $53.10 spot, and the stock uh, drove up to $54.10. So $1 made in that stock, SQ, uh, was another one that we traded uh, on that bounce in the SPY this morning uh, when the uh, SQ got back over $53.55. Uh, it popped up all the way to 53.93. So a uh, nice 40 cent gainer there. And I had some members that actually held this 
all right, from the original stop, and the stock moved all the way up to $55 as uh, John Nigerian on CNBC came out with uh, positive comments on the name on Square, and that pushed it much higher uh, after he had mentioned it. So I'll show you those calls from the room. On uh, Micron Technologies at uh, 10 a.m., MU over $53.10 uh, with a stop of 52.90. Never came back to stop us out, moved straight up as I showed you on the chart. And then at uh, 10.04, we called SQ over 53.55 and uh, with a 53.30 stop, never came back to touch the stop. Uh, that stock ran straight up almost a uh, dollar and change on SQ and then the positive comments uh, from John Nigerian on CNBC and that pushed that stock even higher. So those are some of our highlighted call MU and uh, SQ uh, today in the service at ZozoStockWatch.com. So some stocks I'll have on watch for tomorrow. First one out of the gate is going to be uh, AMD Advanced Micro Devices. Uh, this one's starting to push out over the 200 SMA. Has that 1250 number up here. We do have some topping tails back Back here at $12.82. So uh, AMD was actually relatively uh, strong today. So we'll be watching that one. Another one that caught my eye today with uh, some expanding volume was uh, FENG. So this one will be on watch. Had a strong close on uh, FENG. Watching that one. Ford uh, had that earnings pop, but did give some of it back in the after hours. So uh, we'll see if that one wants to set up for tomorrow. Uh, Galt uh, had an inside day hanging in around that 50 SMA, 1.4 million shares traded today. Uh, having a little trouble here around that 450 level, uh, so I'll watch this one on an intraday uh, basis, GALT. HTBX uh, actually getting over the 50 SMA, 7.5 million shares came into the name. Uh, some nice uh, movement in the stock today, so this will be on watch tomorrow. Uh, LB kind of looking for a bottoms up type of trade here, uh, maybe a possible swing trade in this name as it's trying to maybe turn the corner. Macy's has earnings coming out tomorrow. And then uh, Nordstrom also has earnings coming out, I believe, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, so we'll let those earnings come out and then maybe take another look at LB. But watching this one, uh, MEIP, big move up here on big volume. MEIP, here's the intraday chart. This one will be on watch for possible intraday setup. Uh, we'll be watching MU again for a possible trade. Uh, also, we'll be watching SQ again for a possible trade. Those are two kind of go-to stocks that we like to trade in the service. Uh, PT PETQ had earnings after the bell. Uh, a little volatile in the after hours, but it did have earnings, so I'll have this one on watch to see if it wants to make a move. Uh, PD, PPDF, uh, Peter Peter David Frank uh, had a nice pop today, 1.2 million shares. Uh, got over that eight and then pulled back, but nice move up here on the uh, chart intraday. So this one will be on watch for tomorrow. Um, let me see, RDVT, uh, expanding volume here, uh, just under this round number, $10, uh, 2.4 million shares traded in the name. Here's the uh, chart. It kind of broke out over that $7.50, $8 area and pushed up all the way to $10 today, RDVT uh, volume, big expanding volume in this too. Uh, so that'll be on watch, RGSE. Uh, this one needs to get over the highs today, about $1.26, $1.27. Uh, so we'll have that one on watch. Real good solar. Uh, SAEX, like I said, they had earnings after the bell. Uh, it was moving up into earnings, then kind of gave it back a little bit, but I'll keep it on watch for tomorrow. Uh, Vuzi was having a, a, a strong uh, move. Uh, in the uh, in the close into the close here on VUZI, so I'll watch this one. Not a favorite though, but I'll keep it on watch. Uh, ZSAN also had uh, earnings after the bell tonight. You see the pop up here to 550. Uh, trying to hold this five dollar area on ZSAN, so we'll have this one on watch to see if it wants to maybe make a continuation move either one way or the other for a short or a long on ZSAN. All right, that's uh, the watch list for. Uh, Wednesday, the 16th of May. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Have a very nice evening. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hit that thumbs up if you like these videos. And thank you once again for your support on the YouTube channel.